Back at the Riverside Stadium for another Tuesday night game in the EFL Championship. It's Boba versus Birmingham City. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Riverside Stadium. Boba take on Birmingham City, who have only won once at the Riverside Stadium in the last 13 meetings against Boba at the Riverside. I think we can beat these today, if I'm quite honest. We did come into this game on the back of a defeat at Spurs, obviously in the FA Cup, which we weren't too bad. Uh, and then a bit of a poor defeat at Fulham. I'm going 2-1, I don't know why I think it'd be a bit of a tighter game than a lot of people expect. Let's have a look at today's lineups. Right, today's lineups will start with the visitors, the Brummies, Birmingham City. Number one, Lee Camp, three, Pedersen. Number four, Roberts, five, Colin, eight, Gary Gardner, ten, the former middles for man, Lukas Jukovic. Number eleven, Bella, fourteen, Clark Salter, former Sunderland man, eighteen, Morabti, 19 Magoma and 26 David Davies. For the brother, lineup is number 42 is he pairs 6 Dale Fry, 11 Ashley Fletcher, 16 Johnny Housen, 17 Paddy McNair, 19 Patrick Roberts, 20 Lucas Nemecha, 21 Marvin Johnson, 22 George Saville, 26 Lewis Wing and 29 Jed Spence. Those are the lineups, let's get into it. And we're off! Not clear to win, this shot is just right at the post. Oh, we're nearly 1 0 down inside a minute. Back there with a free kick in the penalty area. Headed on. Oh, just about clear away. Good it. Oh, straight to the keeper. Right. Good ball in. Oh my god. Yes, hit it! In. Penalty! Come on! Got a penalty! Let's go! Alright, penalty from Paddy McNett. He runs up right footed! Oh, it's saved! It's saved! Fletcher! Oh, he's missed it! McNair's missed a penalty! I wouldn't get it, it was a good penalty and all. Good penalty with a brilliant save from Lee Camp as well. Oh, it's in! It's in! 1 0. Lukas Jukovic against his former team. Brilliant header, I have to admit. Ball into the penalty from the right hand side. Lukas Jukovic, bullet header straight into the back of the net. 4 0, Birmingham 1 inside 27 minutes. On the attack, Lukas Jukovic. Oh, brilliant pairs. He's going to quickly, another shot! Oh! Right in the post, how we? How we, lads? Hit it! Oh! Good attempt! On the box, that's straight into Perez's gloves. Doing this without the mic, uh, it's half time, it is 1 0 to Birmingham City. Really frustrated, I have to admit. We had a penalty, uh, which was a, it was a definite okay. penalty. Patrick Roberts got completely taken down. Um, referee had no choice, had to be a penalty. Um, McNair took it, and it's a great save from Lee Camp. Um, Lukas Jukovic got a goal against his former club. But other than that, it's, it's been really frustrating. We haven't taken chances, and neither really Birmingham has been not great, I have to admit. The ball plays the back half of the second half, but this PA announcer needs sacking. He's absolutely terrible. Ah, literally we've had about 20 minutes and now Birmingham finally come out. Bloody late, man. And we're off for the second half. Go on, Johnson. In the box. Get it in. Oh, he can't get a shot away. Not cleared. Lee Campbell, go that. Hit from distance. Well wide. In the box. Header. Oh, just over the bar. Oh, hit it. Oh, well wide. Good ball in. Fletcher, no. Johnson in some point here, left hand side. Plays it through. And it goes! Get in! And it counts! Get in, have that! Get 
in there. One one. As she flirts with a simple tap in there. Good work from Marvin Johnson. Just an injured when he left hand side. Plays it through. Fletcher with a nice little touch, not makes the keeper, and it's 1 1. Get in! Oh, Ashley Fletcher with the goal, believe more than anything, I say. Oh my life! Jesus Christ, it's all kicking off for you lads, Jesus! Birmingham City have just scored and literally one of our players has gone down badly injured. The, uh, the bloody medical staff have all had to go on the pitch. All sorts happening here. There's fights going on between the managers. It's all kicking off. The two benches are kicking off and all my life. The goal's been disallowed anyway. For goodness me. You're not fit to referee! You're not fit to referee! I think Leo's going to get sent off here. He's only getting a yellow. I think he's only getting a yellow. Oh, he's sent them both off. He sent Leo off and he sent one of the Birmingham coaches off as well. Leo's been sent off. Another one of the Birmingham coaches have been sent off and all. Leo. Oh, hello. What's happening yeah, in here? I think their manager's getting the talking to and all. Manager's getting the talking to as well. Birmingham managers. No, it's just been warned. I think we're looking at about seven minutes added time here, maybe more. But oh my God, I've never known that before. Well, that's 90 minutes. I might have to send a text to you, Dad. Get it to work! Oh. Four. What the hell? Westby's given four minutes of added time. Oh, get out! Jesus. Come on, come on, on the attack here! Come on! Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. McNair! Come on, McNair! In the box! Tom! Oh, it's over the bar! Wait. Oh my god, very quickly, today's Dozzers football stand man the match is Marvin Johnson. I'll tell you why later. Ooh. What an awful weapon. It is full time, it is 1 1 uh, between Bo and Birmingham. Bloody crazy game. Um, first half wasn't particularly great, we missed a penalty, Paddy McNair. If that penalty had gone in and then Fletcher got that late goal, he would have won it probably. Leo getting a red card. One of the Birmingham coaches getting the red card at the same time. The Birmingham manager getting a talking to as well. But that was just an absolutely crazy game. On to the next game, which isn't for a while. We're home to Blackburn Rovers next time. weekend. But the next vlog on the channel will be coming up this Saturday. At Mass United, we're home on Saturday. So there will be a Mass United vlog for that game. Um, but apart from that, <laughs> we'll be live on Thursday night for Dazzle Transfer Show as well. So favourite to tune into that. Right, just before we do finish, um, I haven't mentioned the reason why I gave Marvin Johnson man the match. I thought he was probably the star man today. Um, I thought he played brilliant he, on the left-hand side, causing loads of problems. He also assisted the Fletcher goal. Overall, decent performance from him, but for Borough, you know, still need to improve. Um, but that'll be it. That'll be it definitely now. <laughs> we'll catch you all later. Thank you for joining. Goodbye.